What's the time? Playtime! S-M-I-L-E! Every day! When you are down and out, don't be the brown and pal. The smiley cleaners hear the sound. S-M-I-L-E! Every day! Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep! Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Now with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap.
All right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful and quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips, the way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too, something horrible. She, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. Well, this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes, a monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised. Miss Harper, there are many concerns we must address at this time, but vital show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. <laughs> hey, I remember you. church. His 
I'm Chicken Chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside! I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? I'm scared. Here, follow me. I'll step out first. Hey! I'm Chicken Chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out? Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once, money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different, and I could perhaps see some little truth in each, but I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile to be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams, for it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid, one where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile, they deserve to love, and they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? Right? The kids used to live here. Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? Pass me the blue, please. I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? Pass me the blue, please. Hi there! I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat! Hi there! I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat! Frog Day says, fetch! Frog Day says, fetch! Chicken Chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out?
So, you got the key. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is, where does it go? Well, head back out, and you should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. Zone, the beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the Red Smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that Red Smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done.
Once you're inside, find the building's backup generator. Good luck! Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, it's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man, and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence, let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clearing his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. He was a great man, 
and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence, let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clear his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned for more. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature. Get up. Get up. Get up. 
Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little heart's content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home.